Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For those of you guys that are new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get updated to the newest videos that are coming up. We have tons of new spell videos coming as well as readings. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while or new, welcome, welcome. Let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month in regards to love and romance. How are you doing, Gemini? Hope you guys are doing amazing. I don't know if you guys have been feeling this crazy shift. Um, the past couple of weeks, uh, there's a major shift in energy here, um, which we will be doing a reading specifically about that but anyways let's get into your love reading gemini all right so we're starting off here with the eight of swords feeling stuck feeling restricted uh, a little bit too much in your head gemini you may be dealing with a fire energy uh aries sagittarius libra uh not libra sorry aries sagittarius or leo um there is almost like this feeling of being restricted based off of your own fears. Now, this could be in regards to um, fears that we kind of hold on to from past experiences, past relationships. You also have here the Nine of Cups. So yeah, there's there's definitely a fear. Uh, there's definitely a fear here um, that we are seeing uh, in regards to the connection or relationship, the person that you're dealing with. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that you probably have realized or come to the understanding that you have perhaps more feelings than you'd like to admit, Gemini. Um, but there is definitely a fear of what if nothing comes from this or what if uh, there is not really much that we can do um, moving forward in regards to, you know, solidifying or strengthening this connection. The Eight of Cups does indicate to me wish fulfillment. Sorry, the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. And I feel that there is something within you, Gemini, that you're experiencing right now where you're kind of like looking at the situation when we're talking about love and romance. And you're kind of like living either in the past or idolizing some type of connection or relationship that you had in the past without fully acknowledging the lesson that, that that relationship or that connection brought to you. It's almost like you're seeing it in a sense of that was the best time of my life or that was the best relationship I've ever had. And it's almost like, it's kind of like uh, when you romanticize that connection. Now we're talking about a past relationship. We're not talking about uh, the relationship you're in right now or the connection that you have right now. Uh, this is specifically about your past. So there is something there that you continuously either keep looking to the past and fear that you will not find someone um, that would understand you or that would love you the way you felt at some point in the past that you were being accepted or loved. And this is what has you um, feeling stuck, feeling restricted because you continuously keep either living in the past or bringing up situations that happen in the past now for those of you guys that um let's say you overcame certain situations in this connection and they you know messed up in certain situations if you continuously keep revisiting that uh, or reliving that or bringing that up in every argument that you have in a way or in essence what you're doing is you're not moving on and this is something that I often tell my clients, when you feel that you cannot move on or release or forgive something that was done in the past, then there's no point in continuing that connection. Why? Because it's going to always, always affect your present because you're reliving. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is you have to come to terms with something from your past in order to release that or to accept so when I say accept is you are or you will attract exactly what it is that you feel worthy of. And if at some point you've romanticized a relationship or a partnership from the past 
And in essence, you kind of blame yourself for why that relationship didn't work. You're doing a disservice to yourself because regardless of what the situation or outcome was of that connection, it always gives you a lesson, something that, it, you know, it shows you something that we need to work on ourselves. And if you continuously keep blaming yourself for that, for it not working out, for whatever the situation is, in essence, you're still reliving that. You're still choosing to remain in the same vibration. So what they're telling you is anything that comes towards you that is a new beginning or something uh, that, can, that can potentially turn into something more long term, you are self-sabotaging that. And this is where you have to kind of take a step back and do self-reflection. What is it that they taught you in that past relationship about yourself? Now, the cards that the person you're dealing with or the person you will be dealing with has the Ace of Swords here. So there is an understanding, there is clarity, honesty. Um, with the Eight of Wands, there's quick communication that will open up. So for some of you guys, if this is a connection where there's been some distancing or some separation or some giving each other some space and room, um, again, the same message connects here. Yes, they do want to reach out to you and they will be communicating with you. Communication will be opening up. But if you go back to the same vibration, let's say that person comes back, reaches out, communicates with you. How do we move on from this? How do we make it better? If you did not learn what you needed to learn in that time where you both needed to work on yourselves, then it's not doing any good for you. I do have the wheel of the year here. So again, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a connection that is extremely powerful. Um, for others of you, I do see definitely a new beginning here. Uh, you may actually be dealing with a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, with the seven of swords here. I feel that, again, we go back to the same conversation of, you know, understanding what it is that you needed to work on yourself or what it is that you still need to work on yourself. Do you find yourself often contemplating or creating scenarios in your head that have not even transpired? Because in essence, you're creating blockages that are not even there. For others of you, are you continuously thinking that people are hiding feelings or emotions or what they're doing? Um, and you often put yourself in the situation of feeling like you have to cut through certain things to get to the truth. There is a feeling of untrust or unworthiness, um, not trusting or not fully wanting to give yourself the opportunity to connect with someone because you feel oftentimes that they're being dishonest with you. Is this really their energy or are you bringing that to the connections that you're having, Gemini? So what they're asking you here is to internalize, to figure out where you're at at this point in your life, to figure out, do you have the right to judge others for being dishonest with you when they haven't given you reasons to? And if they have, are you the one that is refusing to see them really for who they are and you choose to ignore what is being shown to you. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.